Well, um, you know, I give credit to Purdue. You know, obviously, very, very hard fought game. I thought those guys defended really well. In particular, the paint made it very, very difficult for us um, around the rim. The post doubles, you know, continued to sort of take up big guys out of the game. And, uh, you know, our inability to sort of stretch the floor and make some shots, you know, was a problem. But, like I said, I give our guys some credit as well. I thought we really competed and played hard in the game. And uh, without a couple stretches in the first half, at least that one with the last two minutes, those turnovers, game over. You know, you can't give live ball turnovers on the road in particular here. But once we started to take care of the ball, I thought we continued to get stops in the second half. We had to find a way at some point in time to have the ball go in. And Devontae and Rob there in one stretch, I thought, made some shots. And then from right there, you know, the last eight minutes, six minutes, four minutes, you know, we needed some things to go well uh, for us to be able to continue to progress. But I give Purdue credit. They played really hard. Our guys did too. Uh, just didn't make shots tonight. And they had a lot to do with it as well. But um, quick turnaround. We'll have the champagne. First question. Obviously, I think in that first half, there were eight, four turnovers like the last three minutes. I mean, how crucial was that stretch just in terms of feeling the momentum? Going the game. It was the game. You know, that, that, that's a 22-20 game or whatever it was. Last two minutes, they go, you know, in at halftime, I think 29-20? Yes. I mean, in this type of game, that, that nine point leads like 15, 16, you know, the way that the, that the defense was playing on one end of the floor. But, you know, you can't turn the ball over. I think our guards had seven of the eight turnovers in the first half, and they're live ball turnovers. And uh, we knew we couldn't do that. But for the most part, though, we took care of the ball pretty well in the first half. I think that's why it was a decently, you know, the score was what it was. It was a one possession game going into that last minute. But the last play, the play before that, you give these guys some run outs, just like if teams give us run outs. You know, it just feeds into the fire a little bit. And then to start the second half, the first four minutes, we actually got some stops to start the second half. Uh, we couldn't convert. We had absolutely no chance of scoring in about those four minutes with some of the shots we took. And then, uh, you know, eventually they were able to score a few more, which took it into the teens, which I thought was a hard margin to work with. But every four-minute timeout, our guys had a great attitude. Guys that were playing were playing hard. We ended up continuing to grind it out and dig it out. and. If I look at the percentages on one end defensively, you would say that we probably played a pretty good defensive game against them. Travion Williams, I give him credit. You know, when they needed it the most, he stepped up and got them baskets, and he was able to get some key second shots at times when we even got the first time stop. But he was a handful tonight. Um, good player. In the first few minutes, you were able to get the ball in the post a little bit and get some scoring there. But after that, it was a struggle. Is that uh, the guards? Guards issue, or is it? Or what really was the problem? Who? I mean, at some point in time, you think it's that easy? Just keep throwing it inside mm -hmm. on I mean, They trap the post every single time that you catch the ball. They're physical around the basket when you do catch the ball. Everything around the basket, even our uncontested ones, were rushed. And they made it hard on us. I mean, you got to give those guys some credit. It wasn't like we weren't trying to throw the ball in or we didn't try to get the guys some shots. I mean, if I look at our field goal percentage from our front court players, <clears throat> Justin was two for eight around the rim. Trace was two for seven. Joey was two for eight. I mean, was, they're not shooting jumpers. You know, they're shooting four footers, three footers. And uh, you know, we didn't convert on a break a few times too. And we had some numbers. They were either blocking it. Uh, we lose the ball on a breakaway layup. Uh, Justin Smith goes on a two on one in the first half, gets decapitated. You know, we just got to be able to play through that stuff sometimes. And uh, but they made it hard on us tonight. And uh, you know, it wasn't for a lack of trying. It wasn't for a lack of inability to get it. I thought one thing in the first half that hurt us, and then in a little bit of the second half, is if something didn't work, we stood too much. We needed to get a little bit more movement, a little bit more motion. Later in the second half, we were able to create some drives. We were able to create a couple plays. But, um, you know, they did a good job. We just, you have to make some open shots. You're going to have to make some threes, some tough threes. You're going to have to make some jumpers. And you're going to have to convert the easy ones that you can get. And as you can tell, our shooting percentages tonight was a whole lot of easy ones and then the ones that we did have we didn't convert but I will say to our players to credit I thought we really played hard I thought guys were physical the best they could I thought we hung in there with a lot of different types of guys and I thought from a defensive standpoint especially in the midway point of the second half when you can cave in and it's not feeling good in there that wasn't the case with our team so I like that and uh, we got to keep carrying on the effort and attitude is great at this time of year for us 
we got to keep finding a way to tweak and get better. There isn't a team in this league right now that wants to, you know, uh, you know keep progressing and getting better like we do. You know, every team's playing for something right now. Each game's hard. There's unbelievable teams in the league, and uh, it's just been a grind. And we're down the home stretch here, so you got to keep pushing through. Okay, time for one more question. Yes. We've asked so much throughout the season about about Devontae Green, and especially after he uh, is actually making shots. But on a day like today, where he was three of fifteen from the from, from the from, from the field, how do you balance his minutes, knowing that you have some impact possessions with, with him, but at the same time he can be a player that can get you back in the game with his with his shooting? You know, Don, Devontae, you know, had twenty four minutes in the game, and a lot of his threes and some of the things that he took in the second half, you know, some some was out of necessity at the end, but there were some shots that he's made here in the last three games, and there's some shots that. You know, you wish you had back, but you know he's a guy that needs to be able to score for us at times. I mean, without him, and uh, you know the Iowa, and Minnesota, Penn State. I mean, when when he's able to make some shots and score some points from the perimeter, it really helps us. So, you know, you got to encourage him to play through it. He played a pretty hard game. It wasn't like everything wasn't you know nothing was easy. You know, he just nothing's easy in this game. And uh, you know, he fought his way through it and made some big ones. I thought he made a couple of tough ones in the second half to actually finally give us a little bit of hope that we can, cook, that we can stick around for a little bit, which was good. And, uh, but we didn't get much offense out of anybody tonight. It wasn't Devontae and this. Purdue had a lot, of, a lot of things, a lot of answers for us, I thought, defensively tonight with the pressure, the physicality. Um, we did a lot of good things. You know, I thought doubling the post, you know, being able to sort of keep it out. But even when they doubled the post, and I thought there were times that when they doubled the post, that could have been our best offense when you can get it out of the rotation and move it around and find a way to maybe strike a little bit while they're rotating. But um, when we did do that well or didn't do that well, we weren't able to capitalize. So, but credit to Purdue. Like I said, they got a good team, man. Play really hard. This is one of the hardest places in the country to play. And uh, but I give our guys credit as well. I thought we hung really tough, competed. Now it's time to do it again. You know, we're back on the road on Sunday. It's going to be much more of the same. And then uh, we'll be in the last week of the regular season. But from this point forward, it's going to go fast. So there's no time to dwell. It's time to get better, move on, and kind of keep working. But I can't fault our effort, and I won't fault our attitude. I think we, you know our team in general tonight tried to play the right way and played hard, period. Good? Thanks. Thanks.